If you need to do a perfect screen replacement in After Effects, you need to use Mocha. Let me show you. So I'm gonna show you how to do a pro level screen replacement in After Effects 2025 using Boris FX Mocha. Let me show you. All right, so I got a video clip here of someone holding their phone up and they're walking along a sidewalk. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna motion track this using Mocha AE. So with the clip selected, I'm gonna go to animation, track in Boris FX Mocha, and then I'm gonna click on the Mocha icon and then this interface will pop up. I'm gonna go up to my toolbar here and I'm gonna select create X-Spline layer tool. And with that tool selected, I'm going to just kind of select the whole entire phone. Okay, so then when that's selected, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just enable the perspective just in case he angles the phone a little bit. And then I'll go ahead and track forward and I'll speed this up for you. Okay, so it did a really good job tracking it. So from here, I'm gonna go out show surface and I'm gonna click on align surface so it matches up with the proportions of my composition. Now I'm gonna save this. So now we're gonna dive back into After Effects. Let's have some fun. Then in Mocha, I'm just gonna click on create track data. Then I'm gonna jump over to my project panel and I'm gonna bring my overlay in. This is just a vertical clip of a young woman kind of on FaceTime or a video chat. So I'm just gonna kind of lay this in very roughly. And with that roughly laid in, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-comp this so the composition matches the same proportions. Then I'm gonna go down to my layer and I'll go back to effect controls. And with my track data is already here, I'm gonna go to layer export two and I'm gonna select the top layer. And I'm gonna click on apply export. And when we preview that, you see the motion is spot on. The only thing I have to do is just adjust my anchor point and my scale a little bit. Okay, looks good. But now how do we get this underneath the phone? Well, thank goodness it's green. So I'm gonna go to my effect and presets and I'm gonna type in key light and I'm gonna use the key light effect. And then I'll go down to my screen color and I'll use the eyedropper and I'll just select my green. And then I'll go down to screen mat. And you see, it's not perfect. So I need to go to my screen mat dropdown and I need to adjust my clip black and my clip white until basically my green alpha is all black and everything else is in white. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go back to my final result. And if I toggle the transparency grid, you could see that it's right there. So one issue you might run into is when you key out the green, it actually keyed out this green wall and some of the greenery in the background. Stick around to the end and I'll show you a trick for this. Now I'm just gonna continue with this, one disaster at a time, that's what I like to say. So I'll enable my top overlay again and I'll bring that down below underneath my layer. So now it appears as if it's part of the screen. So now from here, I'm gonna to toggle my switches and modes and I'm gonna make sure that I enable motion blur so that the, the motion blur of the actual scene matches the video clip that's overlaid. We just have to sell it a little bit more. So I'm gonna go into my pre-comp and I'm gonna pre-comp this once again and I'm gonna do leave all attributes in this layer. So then I'll jump into this pre-comp. I'm gonna just create a new solid and I'm gonna make this kind of a little off-white, almost a little bluish. And to this layer, the solid, I'm gonna add Venetian blinds. And this is an effect that I like to use to kind of simulate kind of screen pixels. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the parameters here. We want kind of really small pixels. So if you get really close, you could see them here. And I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that. And under direction, I'm gonna make the bottom one 90 degrees. So if you get really close, you could see almost simulated pixels here. Now, before we finish it up, we gotta make sure that we bring that green back into our scene. Okay, as you may recall, we do have some green stuff in the background, like the wall and some trees. Fear not, let me show you how to get this done with Mocha. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under the matte dropdown and I'm gonna click on Create AE Masks. And what this is gonna do is gonna take the mask that I created in Mocha and apply it in After Effects. So right there, you have it already tracked. So all I need to do is duplicate my layer, drop it down, click on masks, and then invert. And this maintains the green of your background, but it also removes the green of your screen. 
Pretty amazing stuff, huh? And finally, a couple of finishing touches. I added a POV angle of the guy holding the camera, add a little color correction, and here's the final result.